Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fascination. It's St. Patrick's Day. I got a lovely bowl of fresh cooked yum. And, uh, and it's healthy. Something people may not think about when you're eating corned beef and cabbage and potatoes. And I put some horseradish with mine. Always do. Get that little kick of flavor. Now with mine, I didn't do corned beef and cabbage with potatoes. Nope. I know that's traditional, but they didn't have any cabbage. What can I say? And my potatoes are frozen potatoes because the other potatoes were gone. <laughs> um, I paid $8.49 for a good size brisket. Corned beef brisket. This is good. Um, I rubbed the better than bouillon on the meat instead of that packet that comes with it. Mm, this is so good. Okay, the baby carrots were a dollar for a bag. Celery was a dollar. Asparagus was buy one packet, get one free. So I paid five dollars for two. Um, that's not bad. Mushrooms were a dollar. Not everybody likes mushrooms, but it's the minerals that you get off of them that keep you healthy. Mm. And this asparagus. It's a very complimentary to the whole dish. Now, I could have, if I wanted to, Try not to make this a mukbang, but, um, oh, that, that horseradish will open up your sinuses. Oh, think about that. Horseradish will open your sinuses, clear your passageway. help you if you are sick and keep you from being sick. So does balsamic vinegar. So there's some tips for you. Um, don't mean to be up in your face like that. No. Uh, as always, I have a bottle of water. Did someone say water? Anyway, um, so, it opens up your sinus passages, and it helps to keep you from what? Keep you from being sick from airborne bacteria. Oh, and virus. So, I'm not having to worry. Very calm. Very cool. Very collected. Knowing what I should be eating. Each greens is St. Patrick's Day. Eat something green. <sighs> Nobody can pinch me. I have green on my skin. <laughs> I'm always wearing green. So on St. Patrick's Day, it's kind of... If I have my sleeves down, somebody might think that I'm not wearing green. Pull my sleeve up. Wearing green. This is so good. See, I could have put my, fr I think I could put cracked pepper on here. Anyway, fresh cracked pepper would be good with this. With also parsley, garlic, of course, which I didn't put in this dish, but I could have. 
um, because garlic is good for you and it helps to counteract any airborne bacteria and help you with your joint health and a lot of other things there's so much that garlic does that's amazing so um whoo that horseradish mmm it's like eating wasabi it's another good thing to like Make sure you're not getting sick. Spices. Mm-hmm. Spices help with uh, getting rid of any airborne virus bacteria. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Let me cut into this meat. Always eat the end piece. That, that's my favorite piece, is that end piece. And this is so tender. I had this in the oven for like an hour and 45 minutes. You can cook it longer if you want, but only cook it like that to render down the meat. Mmm. And it makes it so tender. And there's so much flavor down there. It's like, it's so good. I'm not even Irish and I'm eating like something that's supposed to be Irish. Mm. That meat. Dang. Hour and 45 minutes on 400 with the better than bouillon rubbed on it you can put some fresh cracked pepper and some and some garlic on here mm. with whatever veg you want hold on <laughs> it's just so good um so remember Eat your greens, wear your galoshes, <laughs> keep yourself warm, and have some spices. Do you know spices are actually good for diabetics? I used to be diabetic. I know this. Um, oh my gosh, this, this is delightful. Don't you get that taste of that meat in there and then you get the vegetables? Mm. A piece of asparagus was trying to run away. Um, just this one bowl. I'm almost full on this one bowl. I haven't even ate all the meat, but I'm going to make myself eat my calories because my friend says I don't eat enough calories. <laughs> And uh, I have to laugh about that. He's always like, you don't eat enough calories. Well, sometimes I just don't feel like eating. We all have those days. But. Absolutely delicious. It's a dish I recommend that you make. You cook it in the oven. It saves it, you know, from from you having all of the, you know, everything on the stove and you're cooking it in grease and stuff. Excuse me. And it's talking. Um, <laughs> so I want everybody out there, especially in these times right now where everybody's... I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, because that's very important. And as always, stay blessed, because every day that we wake up, that's a blessing. Because we can enjoy each other's company, even via the internet. So, I have more stuff coming up via sewing. 
and um, I will show you guys my sew after it's a done go. Um, absolutely. So, I will see you all later. Bye. Until the next one.